So crude oil is a fossil fuel. It's formed from remains of plants and animals uh, that died millions of years ago and were buried in mud or under the water. Over a million of years with the high pressure and temperature, the remains turned into crude oil, which can be drilled up from the rocks where it's found and then you can get the fossil fuel or you can get the crude oil. Fossil fuel like coal, oil and gas are called non-renewable fuels. They take so long to be formed but they are being used up much faster than they are being formed. So they are finite resources and one day they will run out. So how can we separate the different component of crude oil? Crude oil contains a mixture of different hydrocarbons and they are separated by fractional distillation. The fractional distillation unit consists of a furnace and a fractionating column. The oil is fed into the furnace where it's heated and then the um, oil is heated and into uh, the fractionating column. The oil will evaporate and condenses at uh, a number of different temperatures. So the fractionating column has different temperatures and as you can see, as you go up, the temperature will decrease. So different fractions are separated at different places and they are separated as fraction of uh, hydrocarbons with similar number of carbon atoms. So at the top you're going to find the gases and the uh, shorter chain hydrocarbons like butane and propane and then as you go down at the temperature increases the um, petrol will be condensed and then kerosene, diesel and fuel fuel and at the bottom, you're going to find the semi-solid and the solid components such as lubricating oil, paraffin, wax and asphalt. This process is a continuous process. So the gas uh, or the oil is always fed into the uh, fractionating column and different fractions will be collected continuously at the relevant uh, temperature. As you can see, the uh, nature of the uh, components or the fraction that have been collected changes from gases at the top into solid at the point, so at the bottom. So the boiling point and the viscosity will increase at the as we go down. The fractions after that can be processed to produce fuel and feedstock for petrochemical industry. So what are the uses of crude oil? So we separate the crude oil into different fractions of components that have similar um, uh, number of carbon atoms, uh, similar uh, boiling points. So they can be uh, used to provide the fuel that we used for most modern transport, like the cars, the trains, and planes. planes. Uh, diesel oil, kerosene, heavy fuel oil, and liquid petroleum gases all also come from crude oil.